What's going on, YouTube? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. And I got another quick tutorial for you guys today. I know you guys feeling this CAD Works Live, you know, software that I've been uh, presenting you guys with. Um, today, I'm going to show you guys how to use this software, CAD Works Live, and design a hoodie. Okay? But before I start designing this hoodie, check out my intro. Okay, now welcome back. So if you're new to the channel and you don't have the CAD Works Live software powered by Stars, it's free. You can go ahead and um, download that now. Uh, I, I'm using a PC. I don't know if it's available for Mac. I don't know anything about Mac uh, computers and the difference, blah, 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 blah. I'm just showing you guys what I use and how I use it, all right? So I'm on my PC and I'm gonna show you how to design a hoodie from scratch let's go all right guys now the first thing you got to do is you actually have to have a hoodie template so what I do is I always start off in Google okay type in free hoodie template vector or just free hoodie template doesn't really matter and just download uh, any template something like this that you can work with all right now Let's go back into CadWorks Live. Now I already have some templates downloaded that I that I use. I got a folder, okay? So I'm just gonna go to import over here. Import. Okay. Now I'm just gonna import this hoodie right here. Okay, just left click it. And as you can see, it's it's pretty much solid. But if we want to change everything about this this hoodie and make it our own we got to vectorize it so go over here click convert to vector and just follow the directions okay I'm just gonna click this go to next I'm just gonna click the inside of the hood which is gray and this the outline I need that black okay and I'm just gonna click on next that's all I need for this particular hoodie I'm not saying that that's all you guys may need you just have to follow the instructions that you see in the white box it gives you up to nine colors uh, to select and once you put your colors in you click next let's watch what happens okay it's updating now what is updating those colors that you pick those are the only colors that are gonna stay uh, within the image okay that white the white background all that's gonna be gone okay it's just gonna be lines and the colors that you picked see there we go now as you can see the checker background that's how we know it's vectorized okay so I'm just gonna click on okay now this image is completely vectorized now since I want to design it and change the color up change the colors up excuse me with my color board over here I'm just gonna left select it come up here to shaping and come down here to break apart by curves now clicking on this break apart by curve is gonna actually break the hoodie up it's self-explanatory break the hoodie up so I can change any aspect or any color of the hoodie that I want okay so I'm just gonna start off with the hood inside of the hood I want it to be black okay see how I changed the black now as far as the hood okay I want the hood to be red okay hood is now red now the body I want to be red as well look at that beautiful now let's say I want the pocket be a different color okay let's make the pocket 
like a blue. Mm, nice. Now, uh, let's make the sleeves uh, two different colors, just to show you how cool this this program is. Make the sleeve one sleeve. Let's make it yellow. And let's make this sleeve over here. I don't know. Like a like a baby blue, process blue. Mm, look at that. Now as far as the wristlets and the waistband, we could change the colors of those too. We could just make we could just change that into a solid black. Okay. Or you could just leave it as is. Now I'm showing you this because I know a lot of you are interested in this program and you know you might be trying to get into designing your clothes yourself and send them to manufacturers to get made. So instead of drawing a sketch with your hand, you can actually come in here and do it this way, okay? All right, now the strings, oh, that's the body. The outline of the jacket, we don't really have to color it in, but we'll just, we'll do it anyway, black. All right, now look at that, y'all. Look at that, beautiful, ain't it? Like, I, that, just that fast, man. I'm almost done. Now, that's just the body. Now, let's say you wanted to put, you know, your own artwork on there. So, I would just go here. If I was doing this for myself. Let me make a wee major hoodie real quick. Because we are major. Everything we do is a major move, baby. Me showing y'all how to do this is a major move. Let's get it. All right. Now, as far as the font is concerned, you know what? Let me just show y'all how it looks with just the basic font. Okay. Well, I didn't take it. Hold on. I didn't take it, yo. Here we go. click on apply yep if it doesn't take it just click on apply okay now we're good okay okay now we can just grab this minimize it you know just put that in the middle of your hoodie okay now if you wanted to change the color of it the text boom just click on white And there you have it. You know, just quick and easy. You know what I'm saying? Something light. You know, something light. Just wanted to show y'all that real quick. Now, now as far as uh, and that's let's just blow this thing up real quick. Let's just zoom in. Zoom in 200%. Let it gather itself. Okay. Now, as far as like all of the intricate details now. You can let me just color these in real quick, y'all. And this is just my OCD kicking in. You don't really have to do that. These are just lines. But I just want to show you guys, you know, my creative process and how. You know, I come up with funky designs, and you can do it too. It's really not that hard. All right, now, I'm just going to zoom out real quick a little bit, down to 100%. Just let everything, you know, catch up with itself. Okay, there you go. Now, let's say, uh, as far as, like, the details and stuff, what 
I want the garment made out of, you know, and the measurements and everything and, you know, the strings, just pretty much all the details that I want the manufacturer, you know, to know. I will just go here now. Let's go to text. And just start typing stuff in. So we put right sleeve. Right sleeve. Yellow. Okay. These are just the basic instructions now. Right, right. These are just the basic instructions now of how you want everything to come out and look so there's no confusion. All right, so we're just gonna come up here to duplicate and just move that over here and just change our words because now we're doing the left sleeve. Let's leave. We're gonna go with baby blue, baby. Yeah, let's get it. Okay, easy. All right, now so on and so forth. I mean, you already see that there's no reason for me to keep going on and, you know, uh, putting, you know, red body and, you know, royal blue pocket or, you know, black cuffs and inside of the hood, black, black strings, because, I mean, you can see where I'm going with this thing. All right, now, as far as, like, measurements, though, you can go, like, you can do this. Your waistband, you can just go like duplicate that again. Bring it down here and just put you can just put something like three inch. waist okay and just duplicate that again real quick and up here you can just put something like as far as what type of material you want it made out of so me I would put something like 100 Cotton. Hood. All right. Just sort of no confusion. And if you know the manufacturer might make some suggestions to you as well, they might ask you if you want it in cotton or cotton poly or you know uh, what weight you want the garment to be and you just got to know exactly what you want and that's fine if you don't know exactly what you want let's say there's a particular hoodie that you purchased in the past and you like okay you could bundle that bad boy up and send that to your manufacturer and say listen I want the I want the same material on this hoodie and same zippers or same, you know, wristlets or waists, and y'all just work it out that way, okay? But I'm just showing you guys pretty much what I do sometimes if I'm designing a hoodie, and I'm going, I'm going to do uh, cut and sew and actually send it out. All right, now let's say I'm done with this, okay? And we don't want to lose it, so we just go to file, click on save as. Okay, now just name it, son. We're just gonna name it. We, we'll name it. We major tutorial hoodie. 
okay type in this box and just click save now it's saved it's saved in this program you won't lose it and now also if okay now you're ready let's say you're ready to actually send it to your manufacturer just go here and go to file go to export okay make sure you name it now depending on how they want the artwork submitted to them you know this CAD works uh, live gives you an options okay so we got BMP GIF JPEG PNG you know all types of different vector options and whatever you choose you know you just select it click OK and just save it somewhere okay save it somewhere in your computer save it to a you know open a folder create a folder or whatnot wh however you want to do it uh, you know all right that's up to you so I'm not gonna save it because I already got it saved in um you know my uh my cat works live uh artwork so that's it y'all hopefully this helps you guys out uh designing wise if you guys want me to show you how to design anything else just let me know leave it in the comments all right before this video ends make sure you guys hit that thumbs up make sure you guys hit that bell you know show your boy some love you know this channel is growing you know i hope i'm giving y'all all the information that you need uh to make your brand successful all right because in the beginning when i was starting off you know i ain't really had no help all right all i had was visions and i had to learn everything myself per se and i know that could be hard sometimes so that's what i'm here for if y'all like this hoodie if you like i just threw that together mad quick right if y'all like that man show your boy some love man let me know what y'all think leave it in the comments all right till next time like i always say choose your own path Skid it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.